So today we're going to do a complete, complete maintenance and tune-up of this Arian snowblower. Um, what I've learned, and I'm making this introduction video at the end of all the maintenance that I recorded, but you should actually really consider doing this. There's some uh, issues with the axles on the wheels, and you'll see that. Um, honestly, I think I should have done it when it was brand new, and that would have solved my problem, and I wouldn't be in the situation I was in today. And it was very difficult to move. I don't know if you've had this issue where, you know, if it's sat for a while, you go to pull it and it's hard to move. Well, now she moves like with simplicity. And she turns easy. Everything is perfect. The other thing I noticed is when doing the greasing of these blades in here, I took out the cotter pins. You'll see one was pretty stiff. And then we're going to change the spark plug, change the oil do greasing inside where the um, gears are and the chains, and we'll do a complete greasing of all the grease nipples and some lubricants of the springs so that this baby's ready to blow snow. So stay tuned, let's get at it. So the next part of greasing is I'm gonna take this wheel off and grease the shaft. And also when the wheel's off, I can get to these grease nipples. This is for the gearbox there. And to get this off, I'm going to remove this clip. And then there's another clip underneath once I take the wheel off. So let's have a look. Okay, so look at my shaft, how rusty it is. And inside there. And then as you take it off, there's a little weight. And that fits in this little spot here. It sits in there like that. Okay, when you put it back on. So don't forget to put that back in that slot there. So the next thing we're gonna do, is remove this clip and take that off completely. See how green, how rusty this is in here? So we're gonna clean it up and put some nice new grease on so it turns. And this just slides back in to a little washer there. So the way I cleaned this shaft was with a, a fine polishing rub, very fine scotch bright towel. And I went in different directions until I pretty much got all the rust off of this piece here. And you can see the difference. So when I took this off, I couldn't get it off. I was pulling, pulling, and it was seized on there. So these wheels really in there, nice and clean. So for inside this, what I did is I took a, a chopstick and basically wrapped this around a strip of it like this. And then screw it in like this. See it come out the other end? And I can clean it that way. And I get, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to get most of the rust off. And then we're going to, it's going to get grease and anti. If you look inside, it's a lot better. Before, it would leave marks on my finger, like on this side, see? So I'm just gonna do the other side here. There we go. So she's ready to go back on. For the wheel, I'm gonna do my best with my finger, because it fits in. And that's that. 
Before I put it back together, I'm just going to take advantage since this is off to clean all this. If you look at the rust on here and on the inside of the wheel, it's kind of like needs to be cleaned and, and protected. And on the other side, it was impossible to move. So on this side, I couldn't even get this out. Like I was pulling and pulling, but it wouldn't move because it was all seized. Now it's all nice and clean. So before I forget, I'm going to grease this nipple here while the wheel's off. Now, as I grease this, we'll have a look inside. <laughs> So we should be able to see it come through. There it comes through there. Perfect. So to prevent this from happening again, I'm gonna generously coat this with some anti-seize on all sides. Okay, and I'm going to put a low temperature of grease as well. Just going to mix it in. So that's got anti seize and grease in there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is put some anti seize on this here from the spindle so that it doesn't seize and we'll put it back in you see how nice that is now inside here there's some washers and you can see that they may be blocking this uh, from spine from going in. So I'm just gonna raise the washer a bit. There, now she's in. And now I can push this through. Okay. So I put some grease around here, like this. And then when the washer goes in, it pushes it in and keeps it there. So basically I'm, I'm pushing on the other side in so that it goes for where I can see the clip here. And now the final touches is I'm gonna put some anti-seize here so it doesn't rust. I'm also gonna put some inside the wheel here just to help it from not rusting. If you remember at the beginning, we had this little piece that locks into place here and it has to go in there because if it doesn't, your wheel's not gonna turn, right? So when you're putting your wheel on, you want to line up the little notch here with that spot there, okay? So we'll just line it up. So I line up the notch to that piece and then goes in. And we're good. So finally, we'll put back this clip. There we go. She's on. And then finally, the big clip, like this. There. 
put some anti rust on that. We're good to go. Wipe off the wheels. And so be it. So on this side, we're just going to clean this up and anti-rust it and clean the inside of the wheel and put it back together. So here we're going to want to also put some grease on where the parts are moving. So this is your wheel that um, you can see how it moves. Right? So it's moving along this axis here. So we're going to want to put a little grease there. So I'm going to put a little grease on here. Try and get it all around. And then I'm just going to move it. And finish the other area, which I couldn't get. Okay. Then the next thing to do is as much of these gears as possible. Try not to put too much so that it's going to drip on that plate. But once it's right side up, it won't drip on the plate. It'll drip down. And then we just want to lubricate this. And you want to be careful not to get anything on any of the plates. So we're just going to uh, spray it slightly with a, a chain lube. Okay, now we also can lube the rest of the gears that we missed. There we go. Looks good to me. Yeah, she's ready to go. I'll just put the top back on. No worries there. Yeah. Taking the cotter pin out, and then I'm going to grease it. But look at the difference from one. Okay, and this cotter pin came out fairly simple. This one, not so much. And look. It's really not good in there. So there's obviously some rust forming. We'll try and get it fixed by giving it some good grease. So obviously this is worse than a cold because everything contracts in a cold and it gets tighter and the grease ain't so good. Um, so I'm using red grease that goes down to really cold weather and really hot. So let's try and get this fixed. Let's look at the difference. The grease after six pumps is coming out from the hole, but also from the side. You can see it there. On this one, it's not coming out from the side yet. So we're gonna have to work that in. The way we do that is turn this five times one way, and then five times the other way, and then grease again. So this one required a lot of work, actually. It took two greases, and then I shot WD-40 in through wherever I could get it in, and it took about 20 spins each way, and three greases plus the WD-40 to get her spinning nice. So now they both spin beautiful. So I'm gonna give it one more grease, and then I'm going to put the cotter pins back in. So we want to check the cotter pins 
you can see this one's okay. It's straight. I'm going to clean it, put some WD-40 and a little bit of grease. But this one you can see needs replacing. It's crooked. And it must have hit something but didn't break. So to get to the spark plug, I need to get this off and out of the way. So um, it's a little tricky. You need to use a 10 millimeter with a thin, like reduced. And I took out the front one. And you may need a magnet to pull the bolt out. And now we're going to do the, the side ones here. Pull this out. Like that. And then we're going to take, and this is a 13 16 spark plug remover, which I hope will fit. If not, and she's out. If you have a look at her, she's pretty carved up. So it's time for a new one. So the gap is 0 0.027 to 0 0.30. So we're going to stick it in. We're going to check that this fits. Yeah, okay. So now that's about hand tight, and they say do a quarter turn more. That's it. There we go. There. She's out. And then we'll just stick this back on. Like that. Well, that wasn't the easiest job. So now we're just going to put this back on. So some final things that I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this cover and here we have some plastic with a metal groove there. <laughs> so what I'm going to use is some spray lubricant. So I'm going to use some spray lubricant here. Keep it moving. I'm also going to use this lubricant on all the springs under here and the spring on the chute. This spring here. Okay. Great. And then there's a couple of springs under here and levers that you want to get into the joints and move up and down. Okay. And then once I've done that, I think I got everything, so we can put this back on. It's tight. And finally, another little trick I like is Pam. So I'm spraying all the chute, all along the sides. And this will also lubricate this piece here. Okay. 
and I'm also going to spray pan under here so it helps with no stick no 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 sticking on here there we go we're just going to take it outside start it up and run it for two minutes to heat it up and then bring it back in and we'll do the oil change okay let's see if she'll start Okay, so for the oil change, we've run it for two minutes and I have a 12 millimeter to hold the pipe that goes into the motor and I have a 17 millimeter, I think, yeah, 17 to undo this. Oil, gloves, paper towel, Oil and me never get along anyways, so I'll just Now, I'm going to have to tilt it a bit. So, I'll just move that like that. There, now we just gotta fill it up. So I'm using uh, 5W30 for cold water and you got to check your engine type and how much oil is required in my case it's 0 0.591 liters so that's what I've measured out in a measuring cup and I'm just gonna put the oil in right now Voilà. Just check it. I think she's good. So she's now ready to work. And I'm going to do my driveway. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Some of the things I didn't know, the wheel axles, they say on YouTube videos to do them when you first get the machine brand new. And then you won't get the rust that I had. And the same on the uh, front propellers. And again, spark plug was a bit of a challenge, but uh, we, we got through it. 
And the oil change, well, that's a piece of cake. Well, that's about it. So, voila, done, finished. She's ready to go.